Peyton Stoffer with us here in the John Mandola Show, a sophomore. You are a sprinter. Um, let's talk about that explosive part of swimming and, and just trying to get after it. Um, yeah, it's definitely, I mean, and any caliber of swimmer knows that any type of event is definitely challenging. But, I mean, of course, the distance events, I think, are a little bit more mentally challenging in the time of the actual race. But sprinting is a lot of like before and after mentally challenging mentally challenging, I guess you could say, because um, you definitely have to be in the zone, be really focused, because the slightest mistake could just be the difference of three seconds and in a sprinting event, that's a huge deal. So it's definitely very important to be explosive off your starts and your turns and just kind of have your head in the game. Trying to mentally prepare for districts this year, you knew there were some seniors there, some competition that was really good, but oh, you yeah. still went after it and gave them mm -hmm. everything you had. Talk about uh, facing some of the best and saying, hey, I'm, I'm really close. I'm right there. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming you're probably talking about Riley Collins. Yeah. I, I swim with her on the side, too, with sure. my other team. So she and I are pretty good friends. I do definitely respect her a lot as a swimmer. She helps push me a ton. So I just I'm so appreciative of that and just definitely a great experience to get to swim against some of the best. About being able to swim with your teammates, you know, doing some relays and different mm -hmm. things. I'm sure that's a, a a rewarding experience to put it all together it's not easy to do oh yeah for sure i mean we, we all work so hard and i have so much respect for my teammates and everything so it's definitely nice to be able to be not only part of the individual aspect of swimming because it is a very much so individual sport but especially in terms of the relays it's 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 nice to have that little team chemistry that it's just it's it's special for the sport it definitely it's nice to share the success with others as well Let's talk about, uh, you know, the dedication, the three hour practices, and oh, yeah. it's pretty much all the time. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then I don't know if that the off season, there's a whole lot of off season. It's you're in the pool a lot. Yeah. I mean, so regular season with high school, it's around 18 hours a week, um, give or take snow delays, obviously that, that can affect things sometimes. Um, and then me and a lot of my teammates, we do work on the off season, whether that be the lifting. And a lot of us also swim for um, outside teams that work during the summer and, or like later spring. So it's a lot, but it's definitely worth it all in the end. So that's just nice to see all your hard work paying off. Let's talk about the positives of the push pull mom dad thing in your <laughs> particular situation and you know how that kind of works. And, and obviously, you know, parents have to have that type of relationship where, you know, maybe you get two pushers, maybe you get two pullers, maybe you get a push and a puller. So, yeah, I mean, I think they're both they're both about half and half. I mean, they were both all American athletes in college. So definitely they had they had a lot. So um, they're both really good at motivating me in the ways that I need to be motivated. I mean, sometimes I'm a teenage girl. I can take it the wrong way sometimes. So that's definitely tough. And they're both really good at like getting me to mentally calm down. And it takes a lot of compromise between the two of them in order for them to understand because my dad was also a big wrestler in college. So he knows more so of the individual sport. And my mom played lacrosse and field hockey in college. So she's more of the team aspect of things, but they're both really great at both motivating me and keeping me in the right mindset in order to be successful. What kind of babysitter are you? <laughs> um, so I am the oldest of three. I have a younger brother and a younger sister. Um, we get along pretty well. So, I mean, it's never really an issue. I mean, they don't like listening to me because obviously who wants to listen to their older sister, but it does, I mean, most of the time it's just like a mutual respect thing. I mean, we're pretty, like I said, we're pretty close. So it's, I don't really, I'm not asked to babysit a lot because I mean, my parents are very good at compromising and fixing our busy schedules, but. You get that, hey, you know, Peyton wouldn't do that, or do you get that? Peyton, you got to set the example for oh, the younger I, get, <laughs> I don't really get the, they don't, my parents aren't big with the, oh, like, Peyton wouldn't do that, because they do a really good job of not trying to compare us to each other, because no parent wants their, either any of their kids to feel like they're lower than the other. Sure. But, um, I definitely do get the example card played a lot, but it's, I, I mean, it's, it's nice to have that type of responsibility, and it's nice to know that my siblings are looking up to me. What do you want to do with your life? You're a sophomore, you got, you know, who knows? It's hard as a sophomore, hey, I want to go do that. But do you have like some thoughts about just, I think you've developed a work ethic and you have a passion. So there's some positive things going on, whether it's in the pool or in the classroom that, you know, there's a bright future for you. Thank you. Um, 
So I do plan on swimming in college, whether that be like a higher D3 or a lower D1, I'm not really sure yet. I still have a lot of time to look, but I'm definitely getting started and talking to a few college coaches and stuff like that. Um, so definitely swimming in college, I plan on, as of right now, majoring in like a PT doctorate program. I know I don't plan on going to Misericordia, but I do have the option. Um, I know they have a six year program and some of the other schools in this area do. So I mean, to have a doctorate within six years is kind of nice. And then, I don't know, I'm very, like I, I'm very religious, like I, I'm very strong in my faith. So I definitely plan on like growing in that as well and maybe getting involved in the community in terms of just like missions or something like that. I'm not really sure yet, but I definitely look forward to maybe doing that one day. Well, you are one confident sophomore. Hey, you can tell you're very mature. Thank you. So Peyton, you're doing a great job. We wish you all the best going forward. Okay, thank you so much.